Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix FIFA 23 DirectX function error. So while launching or while playing the game, if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to, this is for Xbox controller users. So if you are using Xbox controller, then install Xbox accessories app. So open Microsoft store on your computer. And in the search box, type in Xbox accessories and then go to Xbox accessories app. And if this is not installed, click on install. And once this is installed, click on open. Now this will launch Xbox accessories app. Now it will be asking you to plug in controller using the USB to configure it. So you can plug in the USB cable. Now click on this three dot and then click on update now. Click on continue and let the update complete. Now once the update is complete, now launch the game. Now the next step is to select debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now go to manage 3D settings. Now not manage 3D settings, actually go to help on the top right. Here you can see help, click on it. And over here you can see debug mode. So put a check on debug mode. So make sure this is checked. Now launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. Then click on start search. Now the first one is the latest graphics card driver. Click on get download and download the file. Once the download is complete, run the exe file. You will see the screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom. And then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next. After the installation, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then install NVIDIA Studio Driver. Again on the same website, select your graphic card, operating system and then click on start search and install this NVIDIA Studio Driver. This is the latest one. Click on download, run the exe file, again do a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So if you have a laptop with dual graphic card, make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. If you have installed the game from Steam, open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam Apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find FIFA 23. Now if you have, if you bought the game from Origin, in that case you can open Origin games and then open FIFA 23. Now if you have installed the game from EA app, then you can open EA games and over here you will find the game file. Now in my case the game is installed in D drive, E drive I'm sorry and then open steam folder steam apps common and then open fifa 23 now select the game exe file then click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse you can select the trial version click on add options high performance now click on save so add the game and then launch the game next step is to try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So launch the game if you are able to launch the game. Now go to customize and then go to settings. Now to go to game settings, go to display configuration. Now lower down graphic resolution. Now if this is set to 4K. You can try 1920 into 1080p. So if the resolution is set to 4K, try 1920 into 1080p. 
or you can even lower down more over here select window mode turn off dynamic resolution scale and check the performance Now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so go to the start menu then click on settings so open windows settings now if you have windows 11 click on a windows update if you have windows 10 click on Win update and security then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install DirectX for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser and over here you can see the download option click on download now once the download is complete run this exe file click on yes to allow click on accept next uncheck install the bing bar next and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete again restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to put this command in launch option in steam so open steam if you bought the game on steam make a right click on the fifa 23 select properties and then in launch option type in dash d3 d11 and then try to launch the game if that does not work try dash dx11 and now launch the game if that does not work try dash dx12 and then check if nothing works you can remove this and then launch the game so try which one and check which one is working fine for you next step is to make changes in nvidia control panel so again go to desktop make a right click on the desktop then click on nvidia control panel Now go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. Now click on add. Again go to the game installation folder or you can select FIFA 23. If you find FIFA 23 in the list, click on select FIFA 23 then click on add selected program. Or you can go to the game installation, select the game exe file and then click on open. Now once the game is added over here, now select high performance NVIDIA processor and find open GL open GL rendering GPU and select your graphic card from the list and then go to power management select prefer maximum performance now find vsync now select adaptive over here and then click on apply on the bottom right and now launch the game once this is done launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file so for origin users you can go to game library and then make a right click on the game and then click on repair if you see the repair option in my case the game is not installed from origin so you will see the repair option over here so click on repair now if you bought the game from steam then make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game next step is to disable steam or origin over overlay for steam users make a right click then select properties by default the option enable the steam overlay would be checked over here uncheck this box uncheck it now launch the game origin users make a right click on the game and then go to game properties this would be checked over here uncheck the box which says enable origin in game for ea sports fifa 23 click on save now launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running on the computer close discord now if you have g force experience running on the computer close g force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer close msi afterburner if you have reverb tuner running close reverb tuner so close all the overclocking application next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so if you have multiple monitor setup Try launching the game on single monitor. Also unplug all the USB devices which you are not using. So if you have additional controller, anything connected, if you are not using it, disconnect these devices. Also if you have these software running, close these software. So make sure only the game and the Steam or Origin is running. 
Rest close everything, including all your browsers. Also remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your hardware, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Still you are receiving the error message. Then again, as I said, close all the overlap application, all the overclocking application, also close all the background application. Perform clean boot. For this type in system configuration in Windows search box. And then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here. Then click on disable all. Now click on apply, click on OK, restart your computer and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to get rid of direct X function error on your Windows computer and you should be able to play the game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.